What's going on? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in this video, we are going to talk about the toughest and most valuable kettlebell workouts you've never done. There are at least three brutally tough kettlebell workouts that have stood out in my head over the last 20 plus years since I've been training. The first one was when I swung a 32 kilo kettlebell for the very first time. Now, back then, the swing was done overhead, right? Now it's called an American swing. And uh, I I thought, man, this is going to be a piece of cake. It's 32 kilo. I'm busy training for Olympic lifting. I'm strong as an ox. I'm a beast, blah, blah, blah. And boy, was I shocked. So after doing 20 American swings, as they're called now, I put the kettlebell on the ground. And I thought, that's not too bad. And about two seconds later, it felt like all the air had been sucked out of my body right? My lungs had been turned inside out and ripped outside my body. And I stood there with my hands on my knees trying to suck wind. Okay. Because there was no air coming in my lungs. It had all been pulled out. It was that kind of workout. And at that point, once I caught my breath, I said to myself, Ooh, boy, that's a good one. That's good. That's good. That's a keeper. Reminded me a lot of wrestling practice when I was in high school and college. It was that physically demanding. Uh, the second one was training for the old RKC snatch test, right? Russian Kettlebell Challenge certification snatch test. That was uh, 74 reps nonstop with one hand switch with a 24 kilo. Uh, I, in order to train for those, I worked up to using multiple sets of 15 reps on each hand, one hand switch, right? Without putting the kettlebell down using a 32 kilo. Uh, and those workouts made my heart pound in my ears. I'm sure you've had those types of workouts too, right? So you're, you're done working out and you can literally hear your heartbeat in your ears. The uh, third workout that caught my attention was that time when I clean and jerked a pair of 32s for 20 nonstop on a bet from an old friend. And when I was done, I had to lie on the floor and attempt to catch my breath for about eight minutes. I continued sweating for hours afterwards, right? So what do these three workouts have in common, you might ask? Well, they're all example of power endurance workouts. The first two are examples of level three workouts. And uh, thanks for reminding me. I'm going to actually put this up on the screen here so uh, we know what we're looking at. We're talking about level three workouts. The first two workouts were examples of level three workouts. And the second, or the, excuse me, the third workout was an example of level five workout. Now that we got that cleared up, I'm going to leave the leave that up here so you can just fix this in your mind's eye, burn it in your retinas, right? So that when you're doing workouts, you, you know, all right, I'm doing a level one, I'm doing a level two, I'm doing a level three, level four, level five. Okay. So uh, let's, let's cover off real quick on the level three workouts and uh, why they're so beneficial, what they're going to do for you. Okay. So level three workouts and programs, they, they train you for the following. Right? They train you to produce more power, which is more work. And that means they make you stronger, more explosive, and even build lean muscle mass, right? Like who doesn't want to be stronger, more explosive, and build lean muscle mass? Nobody that I've ever met, okay? Except for maybe some of those stringy marathon runners, but I don't work with them. And you're probably not one of them either, uh, unless you saw the light and you've converted over to the light side. Almost said dark side, but that wouldn't make sense, right? Anyway, I'm rambling. So let's let's get back into this, right? So here's the second thing. These types of workouts, these level three workouts will do for you. They build strength endurance, right? And now strength endurance is the concept of all day strong, like a bricklayer or farm, farm hand, right? Someone who bales hay, works on a farm all day long, which that, of course, means that you have all day energy and you never get tired no matter what you do. I think some of us could use a little bit of that. Certainly beats a pot of coffee, if you know what I mean. All right. So the level three workouts also develop power endurance. Now, power endurance is the ability to produce high levels of power or work over a set period of time or set periods of time. So if you think uh, grappling, it would be BJJ, a BJJ match, right? So that's one example. Uh, another example would be man, out shoveling snow. For hours on end without a snowblower. Okay. There's another example. So uh, the fourth thing that these types of workouts will do for you is they improve your health. And you know, that sounds kind of boring and not exciting until you lose it, right? Until suddenly you're faced with having to take medications because you're pre-diabetic 
or you're diabetic, or you have some form of heart disease and the doctor says, congratulations, right? Here is a statin to bring your cholesterol down. And yes, it'll bring your cholesterol down, but uh, it's going to bring everything else down with it, right? Nothing else is going up in the long run, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we don't want to be there. So health is actually pretty important and it, it is the foundation for our performance. Okay, and then finally, these types of workouts, these level three workouts, they reforge your physique. Okay, they burn fat, well, they, they burn calories, which then burns fat. They build muscle and uh, they do it without uh, pumping out multiple reps of multiple exercises for each body part or spending hours on a treadmill in the fat burning zone, right? So throw out the old bodybuilding methodology that we grew up with as kids, where you had to spend two and a half hours in the gym in order to, to get a good workout and uh, basically build your, build your body in, into something that you could be proud of. Okay. So these workouts do that for you. So th these level three workouts, they are, they exemplify the real world functionality of kettlebell training. This is where the rubber meets the road. These types of training programs make you every day strong. Okay. This, this type of strength training, this is the type of strength that you can use in the real world daily activities, as opposed to say training for powerlifting exclusively. So this is strength you can use. Okay. So as an aside, this is a true story, right? Everybody, everybody's impressed by the guys with the, the power lifters with the big numbers. In 2014, I spent uh, an afternoon working with a world champion power lifter who I shall not name, right? Super nice guy, brutally strong world record holder, but he could barely get up and down off the floor. He could not get up and down off the floor without holding on to something. So you know, at the end of the day, what good is your deadlift, your squat, and your bench press if you can't perform functional activities of daily living, okay? Right, that's just a giant ego stroke that will eventually kill you sooner rather than later. So the this level three programming, right, it prepares you to fully live out an active, healthy, even athletic lifestyle, including hiking in the Rocky Mountains, which is where I happen to live, mountain biking, trail running, Grappling sports like BJJ, judo, um, MMA even, right? Maybe some Muay Thai. Uh, digging out from under the most recent monster snowstorm, which you know is always recent here in the mountains. Or maybe being the go-to guy who gets called when a buddy needs some help moving stuff. Or maybe it's just something as simple and as enjoyable and memorable as spending an afternoon in the pool tossing your kids around or tossing your grandkids around. And you can do this all without paying the price uh, of, of having overly sore muscles or achy joints or days of exhaustion afterwards, right? So uh, it's a pretty good return on investment. Okay, I, I'm lying. It's actually an outstanding return on investment. All right, so to some, these level three training programs build your capacity and resilience to tolerate uh, life and then to go on and tolerate and survive and thrive in the tougher level four kettlebell exercises and training programs. All right. So it, it's worth your while to spend some time here on these level three exercises. Now, what do level three programs, uh, did I say level three exercise? I meant level three programming. Sorry. Uh, so what do these level three programs look like? So here are some examples on the minute training, right? With lower reps. So that is where a set is performed every minute on the minute. So some people call that EMOM. I just, I can't do it. So I call it on the minute, right? I'm super old school. I've only recently just called it on the minute. I used to call it top of the minute. That's what I called it for 20 years, top of the minute training. Okay, so example plans. Uh, if you're in the Strong First community, the A plus A plans, these uh, use repeated sets of power exercises to build your anaerobic and aerobic systems, right? And thus your overall strength and endurance simultaneously. Okay, so here's another idea for you for training plans. You move from simple to complex. So you use lower reps to, to medium reps and or single exercises to compound exercises. So for example, you move from a clean to a clean and press to a clean and press and squat. Okay. So uh, I'll throw some example plans. Uh, one I can think of off the top of my head is a, is a program I have. Two programs actually, they're, they're fat loss programs that make you stronger. Kettlebell burn 2.0 and kettlebell burn reloaded. Okay. 
Here is a, another idea for you you can use. They're, they're called high power repeats or serial repeats where you're doing 90% uh, of your effort or greater and you're using high speed eccentrics. Uh, a great program for that is uh, Pavel Satsulin's Quick in the Dead. Um, now, just a caveat, if you're going to use that particular program, you better already be strong. In other words, you're using level one, two, and three kettlebell exercises and you come from a powerlifting background or a weightlifting background, or uh, you, you're just gym strong, right? Maybe you were a bodybuilder at one point, but th that's not for somebody just getting started. Okay, here's another idea for you. You go low to medium reps, high power, medium to heavy loads using combo exercises for multiple repeats. So a combo exercise is a pretty much exactly what it says. It's a combination of two exercises. So the clean and the press, for example, right? So an example plan um, is a program I've called I've got called the giant based on the clean and press. Um, there's a lot of things I want to say about the giant, but I'm not going to. So you check that out. I'll put a link uh, in here below uh, in the description below this video for you. Uh, and then there is minimalism at its finest. And that's where you would take a single kettlebell exercise like the snatch. Remember we talked about in the last video, the snatch is considered the czar of kettlebell lifts, the king of kettlebell lifts of single kettlebell lifts. Anyway, and you use a, a heavy-ish to heavy load, and you use high power, variable length repeats with increasingly longer sets, right? So maybe you start with low reps, and then you progress the reps out to medium reps and then higher reps. And you can do that over the course of time, okay? Um, I've got an example program of that, a snatch program called King Size Killer. I'll put that in a link below this video if you're interested in that sort of thing. But uh, to sum up, right, at the end of the day, I think everyone, everyone should spend a season or two using these level three workouts in programs, right? Level three training. And the reason you want to do that is uh, whether you want to prepare for level four or use same but different training uh, for a change of pace, right? It's just, they're just good workouts, good programs to keep in your repertoire. It's a big word, repertoire. All right. So... That's all I've got for you in this video. Um, feel free to leave a comment or comments or any sort of questions below this video. I keep forgetting to say that in my other videos. Um, anyway, hope you found this video helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I enjoyed making it for you. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay strong.